Hey guys, welcome back to canafastreviews.com. I had a really rare opportunity to grab up this uh, camera, it's Nikon F2, um, fully decked out. Um, and I thought it's kind of a rare opportunity, I should do a just quick, not really a review of the camera, but just kind of showing some accessories that can be put on this thing. Um, this was actually a, um, a, ca a camera from uh, the Canadian government the uh, Defense uh, Research um, Telecommunications Establishment. Um, so who knows where this camera's been. Um, the, this lens, I just threw it on here for fun because it's, uh, it's monstrous. This is a 200 to 600 um, f9.5. Uh, but um, it didn't come with this lens. It actually came with uh, a 55 macro um, or micro 3.5. But all this stuff is like fully mint. Um, but um, so what I kind of want to show you though is uh, um, just the uh, the 250 back. Uh, also, just for kicks and giggles, check out the uh, 750 back that can be put on this camera as well. It's just monstrous. But this is still super cool. I I love playing with this. Um, and then uh, there's wine uh, film reel winder and whatnot and um, all this other stuff. I'm going to get into it and just show you some up close stuff about uh, the camera. So one of the, really quickly, a couple things that I really love about the F2 is um, one, I actually somewhat prefer this camera over the, um, the Nikon F3. One is because of the metering system, you got the needle. Um, I prefer that. Um, this camera can be decked out with so many accessories. I, I like doing some more research. Um, I knew there was a lot of accessories, but then I just keep seeing more and more and more. It's just unbelievable the amount of stuff. They, they built this camera like nothing else. There's just so, so much stuff that can go on this and how it's so uh, incredibly built. Everything, well, I'll show you when I tear this thing down, how it, it all fits together. It's just, it's just a masterpiece. Um, so this camera went from the 70s to 80s. One other thing is if you get the, uh, I think it's the MD100, uh, um, it's the motor drive, um, it can actually shoot, get this, this camera can shoot 10 frames per second. Uh, that is unbelievable, a lot of, uh, even digital cameras aren't doing that. And um, my, I have also a one VHS, Canon one VHS, and that can also do for 10 frames per second, but that was like years later. So it's super impressive that this camera, you can lock up the mirror and just go to town, but I'll never do it. I'll never have that pack, but um, I thought I'd do a video on this and uh, before I shuffle it out. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put all the parts on this just so you can kind of see how everything goes together. So this is just a regular Nikon F2. Um, um, you can take the top off by just turning this, pressing down, and then there's a release button on the back. Um, but yeah, it's just a regular DP1 uh, finder. One thing you will need to do is lock the mirror up uh, to run it, um, the MD, uh, was it MD2 grip on high. This is a 250 film winder or spool winder, um, or actually I think you can use this for the um, the 750 as well. Then of course you have the MF1. Um, this holds the 250 film, 35 millimeter film. We have a MB1. Uh, this is just holds your uh, your uh, batteries, AA batteries. We're not going to be using it for this. We are going to be um, using this. This is our um, AC to DC converter. It is a MA4 um, and so it goes to um, uh, a 15 volt DC converting from AC um, and also you can have a, a um, aperture um, priority or whatever. All right, sorry, E if I said A. Anyways, um, so how this uh, all comes apart now, you want to be careful because, you know, like a Pentax and most Nikons and everything, you can just use like a Canadian nickel. Um, but uh, I find that uh, this is actually a bit different. So uh, I'm going to use a penny and we're going to take this out. I'm going to be putting that 
into the little carrier right here. So it's a little bit finicky. There's a couple things that are finicky about the F2. Um, that being one, uh, the battery, I don't like how it doesn't screw in, it just uh, notches into its place, just turn it, like a quarter turn it falls out. I don't really like that and they obviously didn't either because I got rid of it. Um, you can see uh, you got all the um, stickers from the DRTE, it's kind of cool, they're on everything. So now we can fit the uh, MD2 grip into the bottom here. Now we take our MF1 back and um, this is one of the really cool parts about how everything fits together. Um, so the back um, just slips in here underneath this roller um, and lays down and it's like, ooh, is that really secure? And then you secure it with this though and this is just so tight. Just the way that it's all built um, and how it snugs the camera. I, I don't know, I find it really impressive more than most cameras even today. Like it's just, this is so heavy duty mechanically built. It's just incredible. I just wish they would keep building cameras like this. Now the release is here, right? So just swing that out. And the pin, you just press it down, take the back off. So this whole thing is just gonna set right into here. And when that's in, now we just flip the lever. And you can see it's pressing down, and boom, it is locked. Now I, I always wonder, like, what if you snag this? You know, could accidentally fall out. But I've never done it so far, and I've played around with this camera a fair bit. But um, then you take this, stick it in here, and then this is just simply locks just in here. Kind of cool. MB1. They were using this for micro photography, so this is a micro finder. You can screw it in the back. I'm not going to put it in. You're going to turn these to open. Then you can, there's a little lever on the back here. You just pop this open and boom. There we are. So now we're inside and look at that. Isn't that massive? <laughs> so um, now there's two, um, what do I call them? Pin, whatever, that goes into the bottom of the spools. You pull those down and then there's two levers you rotate your spools out and this is what you load on this guy you can load your film on this guy so uh, you can set how many frames you're loading up and uh, just pull this and you can adjust that and wind her up um, your bulk film and uh, so it just feeds from, feeds through here. So here's your spools. When you're closing these, you got to make sure that everything gets lined up. This has a little pin that lines up in here, so it's sealed. Of course, you do this all in a dark room, and then you can. The nice thing is you can you can bring tons of additional spools. Um, and you just, well this was new, but um, you just load up tons of uh, film and then you go out to a shoot and as long as you got as many of these uh, spools you have, you know, I got quite a few with this set, you can go and shoot tons and tons and tons of uh, film. Then uh, just loading this back in, you would set those in the little indents there. See if I can do this from underneath. You get the line and the dot and you just slide it in here. Like that, see? And then just leave it. Same thing on this side. Then you just close her up. Drop these pins back in. And 
if you had filmy, of course, you would tighten it a little bit. And this is the, I don't know if you can hear that. That's the motor driven side. And of course, here's the mirror lockup. And we're going to do that just so we can fire the uh, really fast frames per second. I think, it's, I think we're going to be running four or five frames per second on this. The MC2 cord. We're going to run this bad boy. So this is the MA4. Fuse there. And so this goes in right here. The MD for the grip. You can plug it right into here. Get ready. <laughs> so we'll put that to 2000. And we're going to leave it on lock at the beginning. Now, I mean, this is a nice and long cord, but can you imagine carrying this big pack around? So when I had this all together with the big lens and everything, I weighed it, and uh, it was about 10 pounds. So that's why I took that lens off and stripped it down a bit, because it's a lot, but. So, on. And here we go. Now when you shoot this, you can hear this box go ping, ping, ping. It's kind of interesting. Uh, high, mirror lockup, of course. Um, medium, 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 one, two, three. Um, and then low. Bing! It's quite loud. You're not going to be hiding this thing. You ready? <laughs> I'll open the back so maybe you can see it. Crazy, eh? Tons of fun. And we'll go to medium three. And now we can release this. You can watch the mirror. Medium two, still stinking fast. Medium one, and that's low. So, pretty cool, eh? This thing can do, uh, with the M MD100, you can get 10 frames per second with the mirror locked up. Just absolutely incredible. Um, I think I've said everything I need to see about this. There's tons of other features, and of course, you can set all the um, exposure dials and different things, but um, for the most part, that's uh, what this thing is all about. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as well. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, canonfastreviews.com check it out I got other stuff I'm um, doing there all the time just uh, repairing lenses, building lenses, doing tilt shifts just all kinds of stuff so check it out if you'd like more of this kind of stuff like and subscribe and I'll keep her coming talk to ya